Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell. Like this video, that helps me to keep making videos. I'd appreciate it majorly. So, um, very interesting development here. Um, you know, and I'm going to be as quick as possible because I got to get back to work. About a high level Canadian official in the um, Royal Canadian Mounted Police which I don't know what the equivalent of that is in the United States. So, um, and his name is, and he's been arrested on several charges, some of the criminal code and some invoking the Cameron Ortiz. That's his name. Faces seven charges dating back to 2015 under both criminal code and the Security of Information Act. You know, he's being accused of uh, collecting information for the intent to share it with, you know, parties that he's not supposed to share it with. I mean, that's what this individual here, Jane, John McFarlane, a senior counsel to the Public Prosecution Service of Canada, gave a briefing um, today. He was in court, this guy, today. He's just, he's very high level, you know, and that's what's so unusual about it is how high up this individual was. You know, and the charges he's facing. And it's, again, it's seven charges, criminal code and Security of Information Act. Global, Go Global News has learned that the RCMP believe he stole large quantities of inf information which could compromise an untold number of in investigations. You know, because he was so high level, they're actually looking at various departments to see, you know, how, how corrupted, you know, um, other sources referred to the case as serious spy s i guess that's s h i t you know a statement from the rcmp said the charges stem from activities alleged to have occurred during his tenure as an rcmp employee i don't know if he's still an employee or not i mean that's um it's just not totally clear to me so i mean it says here and i don't know canadian politics or their their system of government that well but it's a super interesting story for sure so i wanted to share it with you so it says sources with knowledge of national security investigations describe ortiz as as former rcmp commissioner bob paulson's most elite advisor on on issues related to national security and sensitive in investigations they added he was likely the only civilian to ever achieve the position of Director General of Intel Intelligence. So that's what they say his position was. Whether he was still an active Director of Intelligence you know, to date, I'm not real sure. Paulson, the commissioner of the RCMP, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, uh, retired back in 2017. And you know these charges date back to 2015. Again, he was he was arrested yesterday. He was in court today. I think Canadian law requires that you be brought before a court within within 24 hours to hear what you're being charged with. He's going to be in court again on September 20th and remains in custody until until that date. You know, um, but it continues. But a source with knowledge of national supposedly it was unusual for this individual. He's he's solely an academic. He never had any operational experience in police or intelligence, and so it seemed odd that he was chosen for such a high level, uh, elite position, elite advisor to the the commissioner of the Royal Canadian um, Mounted Police, Bob Paulson, who's pictured right there. But again, you know, like I said, uh, this this individual retired in June of. June of uh, 2017. So, and there are no pictures of the person who's been arrested, you know, other than like, you know, like a, a court drawing of him. So, uh, let me continue. But it, it says his experience, his expertise in, is in East Eastern Asian affairs and, and computers of some kind. It says the the expectation is that such a high level director of intelligence should have some operational experience. A source said, but Ortiz was viewed as purely academic. With stunning news of the investigations against Ortiz and considering his influ influence in Canada Canada's national security investigations, an emerging question that could be raised is whether Ortiz could have discouraged investigations against certain nations or targets. A source said Ortiz is described. As, a, as an Ottawa intellectual and an academic that was seen as, an er, seen as arrogant by some in Can, uh, Canada's national security establishment. He was arrested in Ottawa. 
yesterday. Global News early source in, Global News is Early source information indicates Ortiz's ex expertise in computers in cyberspace. That level of sensitive, uh, that level of sensitive high tech information he would have access to as a longtime government advisor, as well as his connections to East Asia and China, uh, are some of the areas that could have concerned this multi pronged national security inf uh, information. As a civilian member of the RCMP Strategic Intelligence Unit, Ortiz had a linchpin role that gave him unparalleled access to operational intelligence, according to a source. At times, he worked with he worked extensively extensively with FinTrack, and once once focused on Somalia, one of the countries that has attracted Canada uh, extremists to fight in the terrorist group Al Shabaab. The source said. It's crazy, man. It's totally crazy. So, you know, like I said, it says his expertise. Global News's early source information indicates that Ortiz's expertise in computers and cyberspace, the level of sensitive high-tech information he would have access to as a longtime government advisor, as well as his connections to East Asia and China, are some of the areas that could have concerned this multi-pronged national security information. And over here, it says um, that Ortiz is known for his expertise in East Asian affairs, critical uh, critical infrastructure, and the use of bots online. You know, source, sources who are familiar with his work said he would have had knowledge of code words and operations. Without going into too much detail, it is alleged he obtained, stored, and processed sensitive information the Crown believes with the intent to communicate that information with people he shouldn't be communicating it to, Crown, uh, Crown Counsel John McFarland told reporters outside the courthouse after Ortiz's appearance. Pretty, uh, pretty crazy, man, you know. Under the Security of Information Act, Ortiz has been charged with unauth unauthorized communication of special operational information, preparing for the commission of an offense by obtaining or gaining access to information or possessing any device, apparatus, or software used in for concealing, super superstitiously communicating, or obtaining information. Under the criminal code, he's been charged with breach of trust by a public officer, unauthorized use of a computer, which can include obtaining a computer service through an electromagnetic acoustic, mechanical, or other device. I don't need to read that whole thing. So uh, Justin Trudeau did briefly comment on it. He's on the campaign trail right now, and he was asked about it. He didn't address it, and then he sort of doubled back and said you know, that he did address it just briefly, saying he's aware of it. And, uh, and that's pretty much it, you know, something like that. As Prime Minister, I will not hesitate to identify these threats and act accordingly. It's pretty, uh, I mean, it's a pretty remarkable case. Um, so I'm sure we're going to hear more about this individual and probably more, you know, eventually see who, who he is, you know, and then that's the only picture of him. You would think um, in that position that there'd be, um, you know, there'd be photos out there of him when you just search him, but I, I did, and I didn't find anything, you know, even when I searched it along with, with uh, the former commissioner of the uh, Royal Canadian, Canadian Mounted Police, um, Bob Paulson. And I still didn't find anything that, you know, uh, any photo for the individual. Pretty crazy. All right. Well, that's the story there for now. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. See you in the next video. Later, man.